Hey Gated Horse Riders, hope your day is going well. Let's get started. So I'm going to tell you the biggest thing you can do to help your horse gait. And this doesn't matter if you have a Tennessee walking horse, Missouri Fox Trotter, Rocky Mountain, Kentucky Mountain, Spotted Saddle Horse, Icelandic, Pasifino, Peruvian Paso, McCurdy Plantation Horse, Appaloosa that does a shuffle, doesn't matter what kind of horse. So it's easy, it covers all of them. The biggest thing you can do is train your horse to drop their head. Seems simple. But a couple things come up. Usually people say, I've never heard that before. All I've heard is that you should pull your horse's head up or maybe you haven't heard head up, you've bring, heard bring nose in and go forward. Well, I'm here to tell you that I believe that the, the best thing you can do for your horse is to train them to drop their head. And now the next thing that I get asked is, well, how low? And so sometimes you'll have a horse that's got their head really high and they drop it down a little bit and they think that's low enough. Well, what I wanna tell you is that low enough usually means eating dirt low. That's right, eating dirt low. We came up with that phrase at the last clinic um, as a way to, to kind of describe how low we need to get the horse's head so that it actually is beneficial. So um, that's the first thing, do that. Get him so that when you ask at the walk and at faster speeds, whether that's a gait or a pace, um, that they will drop their head really low. Think quarter horse low, think able to eat the grass low, anything like that. Um, the next thing, uh, so you do it at the walk first, and then you do it at, at faster speeds. Very important. Okay, so next thing, show you a couple examples here of how to get the horse's head low or what it looks like when the horse's head is low enough. I'll also show you an example of a horse. Hi. Ooh, selfie. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you examples of horses that um, have their head high and how that's causing them to pace. Okay, so here's a gated horse right here. His head is up. This is the very beginning of the clinic. Head is up, he's doing a stepping pace, his back is hollow, he's pushing down the base of the neck. So this is what we don't want in a gated horse. We want to see something with a much lower head. So here we go, here's an example of the same horse at the walk. So here, we want the head low. Remember how low do we want it? We want it eaten dirt low. So you're seeing him put his head down right there, and then he brings it back up, which is normal. But in just a sec, I'm gonna ask him to drop it and you're gonna see him drop it really far down. And that's how far I want you to train your horse to drop his head, really far down, where it's about where he's eating dirt. And you'll notice again, we're walking forward. We're not stopping and standing. You have to do this at the walk, but you also have to do this at the gate. So here we go, same horse, doing a stepping pace, but it's getting smoother, we're working on head down. You'll see here, he drops it a little bit and then right there he puts it back up. So then I continue asking him to drop it and it takes him a little bit before he'll do it because most horses will be uncomfortable. We're talking about changing their muscles, <clears throat> how they've carried themselves for years possibly, and um, changing their balance. So here I'm asking him gently to drop his head. As soon as he starts dropping, I release the reins and I let him stretch his head down. And this right here is how far your horse should stretch his head down. That far, go low. Lower is better, keep that in mind. Uh, next thing I just wanna talk about briefly is that some horses uh, want to uh, put their heads up. That's natural for them. People go, well, they're supposed to be high-headed. Well, let me just talk about another thing. One of the reasons we don't want a high head, besides the fact that it usually it causes them to pace, <laughs> is that um, a high head means a hollow back and pushing down the base of the neck. When a horse is doing that, they are, their back is stiff. They're not using the muscles in their back to lift the back. 
they're using the muscles to, they're actually not using the muscles at all, that weight is resting on the spine. And so this is creating a very stiff horse, um, and that stiffness is damaging long-term for their spine and damaging long-term for the joints in their legs as those joints start to stiffen up um, and, and instead of bending and, and taking the weight. Hi. Good boy. Yes. No. I don't have anything for you. Uh, again, my Arabian, Sadim. Um, so that's one of the biggest reasons. Some people will go, but, but my horse is smooth. It, maybe he's pacing or maybe he's gating with his head up and they go, but it's smooth. And my answer is, I understand that it's smooth. Keep in mind how damaging it is for the horse, for any horse. It doesn't even matter if it's a gated breed. If your horse's head is up, it's going to cause long-term damage. And I want your horse to be relaxed. I want you to have a comfortable ride and I want it to be better for the horse. And so again, that's my very best tip I can give you is train your horse to drop his head low on cue. Good news is that we're not gonna ask him to keep his head there for the rest of the time you ride. We're not gonna ask him to stay there all the time. But during training, the very best thing you can do is drop their head. So take a look at this horse. This horse used to be pacing and high-headed, but um, his owner, Leslie, she watched my videos. She trained her horse to drop his head and to go over some poles. And she went from a pacey horse to a trotty horse, which you might go, ah, I don't want the trot. It's a good thing. She showed up at my clinic two weeks ago and it took me 26 minutes to get her horse doing a beautiful fox trot. Beautiful, beautiful gait because she'd done the work to get the horse to drop his head. So especially if you're gonna participate in the clinic or you wanna come for lessons or do anything involving my training, please, please, please train your horse to drop the head. Your horse will be calmer, your horse will be stronger, and it'll be much faster to get that gait. So thanks for watching. Please like the video, like my page on Facebook, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm gonna keep posting videos. I already have like a dozen ideas written down for upcoming videos. Comment below um, with any f future ideas you'll have. And coming up, we've got talking about the canter, talking about how to talk about gated horses to your friends, talking about why gated horses are hard, talking about myths about gated horses. So lots of really good topics coming up. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and go have a fun ride.